Who did this? Is your dad a part of the army? Does your mum work for the police? Is your auntie an MP? You wrote this idiotic letter, put it up on a wall in your bedroom, took a picture of it, and they're sending it round. What a guan, pal, what a guan. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. By the title of this video, I'm going to be addressing all of the lies that I was fed a few months ago. If you're new to my channel and you do not know who I am, my name is Gudda Philip or Gudda for short. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the ting. For those of you that are in the UK, you would know that we've been in this pandemic and lockdown for three or four months and we're slowly easing out of it. But we cannot forget what our aunties, uncles, dads, mums put us through. In the beginning, I was fretting. I was a <laughs> I didn't even want to go out. I was shook when I forgot to wash my hands. I started to wash my hands excessively. I was wearing gloves. I was putting scarves over my mouth because I was so shook about this whole Thing, yeah so our older generation has put us through so much mental damage because they have been sending these broadcasts and misinformation through whatsapp and we are following it because our parents are always right we must listen to our parents now when i look at all of the messages that i got from people i'm actually shocked i'm actually very traumatized that people have put us through this like why? Why? If you never got this from the news, even the news sometimes lies. But even if you, if you never got this from public information, factual information, then it should not be running through WhatsApp. This isn't based on a topic, but one of them that I received was a letter from 10 Downing Street and it says, Dear citizen, I am personally writing to you in order to alert you of the new governmental policy in which we are proposing that all UK residents will be required to wear a microchip from January the 1st, 2021. These are small chips that can be injected in the skin. UK, res UK residents will be able to get a free implant at their local NHS surgery. And then there's two other paragraphs and then they have the cheek to put Boris Johnson's signature and his name. You've done all this, you've done all of this. 10 down the street and the logo is not even straight. So you've done the most, but you're out here forging people's signature just for a WhatsApp broadcast. You're sending this to impressionable teenagers that are gonna believe stuff like this. You're after the better, you're after the better. There's another letter and someone's put it up on a wall and taken a picture of it like they saw it, like it was posted up on their, in their apartment hallway, yeah? And it says, Coco door-to-door -door scam alert. Dear watch member, please be aware that criminals are posing as officials by knocking at doors and pretending they are testing for the virus in the area. Don't open your door, don't let them in. Tell your friends, relatives, neighbors about this scam. The Metropolitan Police logo and the London watch logo and the other logo that's attached is completely lopsided. It's not even straight. This is not even in letter format. Who did this? You went on to Word 2010 and you took the logos from the internet. You wrote this idiotic letter, put it up on a wall in your bedroom, took a picture of it and they're sending it around. Y'all are out of order. Y'all, y'all, I ain't got nothing to say to y'all. I ain't got nothing to say to y'all because what is this? Oh, are you intentionally trying to make people lock themselves in their house? Like, you just want people to be shook, unprovoked, and you need to do better. Around the time when the lockdown was starting, people was uploading old videos and saying this and that. Now, there's a message and it says, the government are going to put the UK in complete lockdown on Thursday evening. They're keeping it a secret till then. The army's going to patrol the street. It's going to be it's gonna be like this from this Friday, the 20th to 5th of April. Don't believe me if you don't want to, but I've got my sources. By the looks of this, you are a trainer page and you've got sources is your dad a part of the army does your mum work for the police is your auntie an mp who told you this because from what i remember there was two two police walking up and down the road and they might ask you oh where are you going unless it's in the central shop you shouldn't be outside of your house but i do not remember no tank <laughs> no tank trucks or army men walking up and down the road what do you need an army van for there's, it's not a protest, it's not a riot, it's lockdown, do you understand? It's just that we must minimise the time that we are spending outside, that is all it is. If somebody wants to have a walk around their house, where they live, they are allowed to. 
The army, what, are the, what is the army gonna do? Throw them in the tank and lock them in there and then drive them back home? No. There was people that was uploading like old videos of tank drivers driving down the motorway and stuff like that, but come on, come on. That would have gone viral if that was true. That would have been on blogs, that would have been on the news. The news would have even announced that that was gonna happen and it never once happened. So please save it. Then there's another one that says, Coco found in toilet paper. Now come on, who made this? Who made this? Who took a picture of toilet rolls being produced and made a news announcement format just to send a broadcast on WhatsApp? And look how many shares that this got. Like, no. Another one here says, SEX kills C Coco. What? What? Excuse me? How? Tell me how. How? 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 There's another one here and it says, I have a doctor in the family who has been given information about Vienna laboratory studying, studying Coco. The vast majority of people who died of it had ibuprofen in their system, so do not take it. Those who recovered did not, did not take ibuprofen. So if you have symptoms, take paracetamol only. Looks like this virus thrives off ibuprofen, so don't do it and tell everyone you can. We need to stop with this, I have a doctor that I'm related to, I have this that I'm related to. Unless I see a video of a doctor speaking with a label here and their doctor practice is in the background and they have a paper which proves that they are actually a doctor and it's public record, I can find them on LinkedIn to say that they're a doctor. I don't wanna see messages like this because we do not know for sure. This last one, yeah, this one kind of annoyed me because I actually looked into this because I was thinking, what actually happened to this boy? The Coco Challenge, influencer who lit toilet reportedly hospitalized, yeah, with the Coco. When I looked up this boy, he's a YouTuber. He has over 100K. He was on Dr. Phil for going viral, yeah? Now, obviously he done this challenge to go viral. Now, I'm actually thinking, yeah, did you actually catch the virus? Because you said that you do stuff intentionally to go viral. So maybe you took the picture in the doctor's just to go viral, to get on the news. You get what I mean? You said on the Dr. Phil interview that you don't care, you enjoy going viral, you're famous now, you'll do whatever you want. That's another thing with social media. It's that like we will see something, we will blow it up, and then months later, it just disappears. I even went on his YouTube, I didn't see anything in regards to him being sick, nothing like that, you know? There was even parents saying that if you drink hot drinks all day and you stop drinking cold drinks, that can cure the virus. There were people saying, if you put salt and onions around your room, it will cure. There's people that have said, if you eat, if you drink turmeric ginger and turmeric ginger in herbal tea, it will cure the virus. Unless this is a proven fact, please, please. There might be people out there that might have been cured, but some people are not as lucky as you are. And we can't actually say that that tea, that magical tea that you created was what cured you. A lot of people can fight back on viruses naturally from their body's immune system, but not everybody's body is the same. I'm gonna wrap this up by saying a lot of this misinformation is, the cause of it is these newspapers. These newspapers, these repetitive stories, putting the same image out there, out there, out there, out there, make people actually believe that things are actually true. Just a couple days ago, the death toll rate has reduced by over 5,000. Now, that is a problem. Big, big people that we go to for factual information are not providing us with the facts. We're up for the better. That was all for this video. You can take this information however you wanna take it and we're gonna leave it there. If you're new to my channel and you do not know who I am, my name is Gade Philip. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe to the ting and thank you for the love every blood clot time. What a guan, pa, what a guan.